Alright then, coiled sword. Sword missing from the shrine bonfire cannot be equipped as a weapon. Sadly, thrust into the shrine bonfire to restore its power and enable travel between bonfires. So, unlike Dark Souls 1 and unlike Dark Souls 2, we do get it, like we have to be the first boss to get it, so it's not we get immediately or we have to fight Ornstein's smell. This sword is only bequeathed to Chosen Ash. As judged by the Udex, who awaits the arrival of Ash as a scabbard. Lovely. Let's open up this place. And we have... A tower. Nice. Husa have broken straight sword. Open menu, lovely. Now, is there someone I can do something to? Because I feel like there should be. Yes, you. This is Lothric! Well, I kicked you off. <laughs> oh, I always mess that up. I can't believe I made a Sparta joke. How old is Sparta jokes by now? When did 300 come out? Seeing as I don't know how to edit the answer in, um... Don't worry about it, me. Oh yeah, speaking of editing, again, death counter! That's one death uh, to the uh, crystal lizard. Yeah, I need to remember to keep that in, because I am actually going to have a death counter for this playthrough in like Dark Souls 1 and 2. So... Yeah, that's going to be fun. So much fun. Hopefully by the time this is uploaded, I'll figure it out. Don't fall off the edge, me, no. <laughs> Hopefully I'll figure out how to do like some basic edits with Adobe Premiere. Sorry, I probably should have explained. I am learning a bit of Adobe Premiere. I am... Oh, I... What am I trying to say here? I am actually able to rec render the videos with Adobe Premiere, so... Oh, this guy's a doozy. I'm saving him for a bit later. So yeah, hopefully this will be out this week. This is being recorded on the Monday. So, if any luck... I might have it uploaded today. Well, it depends if I want to upload it in, like, 15-minute batches, like I said it would, or... If I go for like the full 45 minutes an hour thing that this first area will probably take. Yeah, yeah. Doggy! How ah, you doing, Doggy? Bye, Doggy. Right, so I believe that should be everything outside apart from that guy. So, into here we go. Fire and Trine. Now, there was a lot to do around here. But before I do that, I am going to do a little trick first. Just to get some extra stuff. A seed of a tree of giant. <laughs> seed of a tree of giant. A seed of a giant tree is yet to fall. So that comes back from Dark Souls too. Now, this, uh, this gate here, this door... There is a key which you can buy for 20,000 souls, which will let you up there, you'll go across the bridge, you can jump down from the bridge onto the roof to knock this down, and then you can do all the stuff around here, including the thing around the back, which is here. Alternatively, you can do that. I can't believe I did that on the first go. <laughs> well, it usually takes me about 5 or 10 attempts. So yeah, a little jump glitch you can do to get up here early. Not sure if I'll ever be patched out, but... Yo, stay there. Yes, yo. I'll be fighting him before the end of this uh, recording session. And hello, normal crystal lizard! Normal crystal lizard, please! Oh, for the love of... 
Come on! It's turning into a Benny Hill thing. Thank you. Twinkling Day Night. <laughs> now, the Crystal Lizards are less generous with their drops in this game, but... It's still worth killing them when you see them. Right, now in here, I believe there should be a thing here. Yes, the... I thought there was a person standing there. I don't want to be creeped out by stuff. Right. The Shaft of Light. I will show you what is on the Shaft of Light on the top of the roof, but it will be a bit of a later time. Let's just say it's the same as this. So yeah, the trading crows are back in this game. Lovely. You, you. No. No. That no pickle bee. That no bumperum. Well, aren't you a bunch of stingy gets? Alright, so I believe a fire bomb works? Yep, so Firebomb gets me a large Tainite Shard, a Fantabby Doozy, and a Homeward Bone. Gets me an Emote, and it gets me Iron Bracelets. Pretty worse than what I have, but let's take a look. Durable Iron Bracelets, protecting the wearer's wrists. Said to be the bracelets of a knight of sunlight from a previous age. Has no particular powers, but are of fine quality and evidently well taken care of. So yeah, you can trade a bunch of items to crows to get Solaire's set. And Esther Shard, they returned from Dark Souls 2. Lovely. Mind you, I guess the 5, 10, 15, 20 Esther Flasks was a bit overused in the first game. Right, this is a chest. It is not a mimicry. It has a coffered sil silver serpent ring, which I am going to be equipping. Yeah. <laughs> Call it a bit cheap, but. Yeah. Alright, so if I do want to split these up into episodes, this would be probably the best time, because now it's just going to be a bunch of NPC talking. Yeah, note to self. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I'm a firekeeper. I tend to the flame, and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. She is our level lady. She is the Firekeeper. Passion one, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless Sorry, didn't mean to stab you. become thy strength. I'll show thee how. Ashen one, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Ashen one, sovereign. I'm Ashen. Right, so you know how the Emerald Herald had a uh, bearer seek seek lest? Ashen sovereign. I'm Ashen one. Ash sov I ash. Yeah. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Right, so I immediately want to bring decks up to 16. Yeah, more health would be fantastic. So I reckon I'll do. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Thank you, hun. Right, so I believe I have a couple more souls I can use to get another level up, hopefully. Maybe. 
I hope. Oh, I skipped that bit. <laughs> oh, she'll say it again, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I'll get you up to 15 and then I'll focus on endurance. Mind you, I also need to get strength up to 18, maybe 24. May the flames guide thee. Right, so that is the Firekeeper. Now I feel like I want to use these because I want to get something else. Are you 500? You are 800. Okay, that, that'll help me get a couple of things. Right, first off, let's talk to you! Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And it have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. Don't you think? <laughs> what a sick joke. Asking us. We're talking true legends. <laughs> what a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their... Ladies mother. and gentlemen, the crestfallen knight of Dark Souls 3. We're talking true legends. Those who would link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. <laughs> Well, I don't think many of them have boots, to be honest. I mean, from the Goo Baby and the Giants, I don't think they have boots, and... There was a lord up there. Oh, hello. Hi. Boop. How you doing, buddy? All that and kindled, and a seeker of lords. I am Ludleth of Corland. Look not in bewilderment as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child course. This sad cadaver, no need to be coy. Have a closer look. Yeah, you don't even have feet. Knowest thou of our purpose? Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. No stop for I Okay, so Yeah, from what he's saying, when it once took one lord to link the fire, it now takes five. Yeah, sounds like the energy consumption of the fire is gonna be a haywire. So we have St. Aldridge of the Deep, who I'm guessing is the Goo Baby, which would explain the plastic covering. We have Loot Lefty Exiled. Why he was exiled, I have still no idea. We have Holy King Lothric, Last Hope of His Line, who we didn't see in the intro. So, yeah, who knows about him? Well, since he's at the top, he might have some significance. We have Watchers of the Abyss. Again, notorious fanboys. And we have Yoram the Giant of the Profane Capital. So we have to hunt all four. I guess he's he's stayed there, so he's alright. <laughs> 